Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives as we know them are over. What? Golly, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go before Hello, we get recognized. Milo. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well... Oh, I love that... that... Y your outfit, Lola. You're always doing your own thing, which, you know, which I love. I don't know. This is sort of lame, right? How fun can a party be if controllers aren't involved? Ugh, I know. I'm so glad I was born after video games were invented. They're like Skinner boxes. Only if the mice paid with their time and currency to be trapped in the chambers, you know? Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink! Like, right now! Come on, the table's right... It's here! Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry. This is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never, ever, ever. I know now, but ever. Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? Uh, it really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. In the same epic that the octopus got that eighth leg, finally. Yeah, I, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention! All skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. <laughs> life advice? Uh, generally just try not to... Uh... Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the... I meant it when I said you were wonderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> she seemed fine. She was just, you know, happy to be done with this, I guess. Well, whatever. I'm not going to let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you want to go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up, though. This party's kind of lame, Allison. I only know how to play video games for fun. That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> oh, shut up. You have me sounding like my mom dropped me on my head. Maybe she did. I don't know. Man, I will not miss this place at all. Not that I'm... I don't want to sound like I hated it. No, I know. It's just... 
I'm glad I'll never have another hot flash because someone's in my seat, that's all. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? Because I have. And all my teachers said I was very smart. <laughs> wow, that's... that's deep, man. If I was scuba diving, I'd need time to stop the nosebleed. Sorry, this is Lola. I'm Milo. I think I... Didn't we have the same advanced frisbee class and... I know who you are. You're the one that gave blood and then immediately threw up all over the auditorium in the annex. But that... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that... that story just didn't go away, did it? Talk about a bad first day. First impressions matter a lot. Kappa Sigma gave you a nickname, right? The Recycler? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a great summer. Bye. That? Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shitlips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's... let's see. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects! Oh, I couldn't even tell those were his hands. <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. Talking about a movie? Let me guess, it was rated PG-13 for fantasy violence. Actually, you can say ass twice and still get the PG. I'm Lola. This is... Colonel Shitlips. We got it. Oh, come on. I... that was... Lola, did you say? Are you auditing a student or... shadowing some classes? David, I gave you the Heimlich two years ago. I met your parents in the hospital. Remember, they kept touching my hair? Wait, uh, you went to this school or you're going to this school? Okay, well, good to see you guys. Keep it, keep it up. Bye, lip flaps. Bye, Ebola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Uh, stop the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Milo and or Lola, are you here? Uh, yeah. What... what is... Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Oh my god, th that's, this is horrible. I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank god I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, holy, holy shit. Uh, are you... Oh. Oh, uh, do you... Are you... Is what's happening to you okay, or...? Lola, I... What? Is this a...? <laughs> oh, look at this! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I... What is... <laughs> look at his dumb face! Okay, what the fuck is going on? 
You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? Uh, Mr. Matamantis, we were just assisting in the transition I between... I to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, d double double time it? Uh, late for what? The wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? Th what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. I... <laughs> And the rest of you, put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox. Get a grip. Remember when Alpha Phi said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit? Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and I made out with a rose bush. But this isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We... We had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. And they can't get sent to hell if they babysat their neighbor's kids for free! Look, right now, I can maybe remember 20 full days of my whole entire life. So I can't really say with absolute certainty I didn't purposely run over a giraffe at some point. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating. The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, can I get a witness? Just, this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And... And, and we'll, we'll get this, they'll fix it, it'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Sure. Y you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? You know that? It kind of makes it sound a little like you don't believe it. Yeah. Wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment, where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. Wrong vocation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one.
Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes? Here. Here! Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. I'll take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Uh, I... My friends usually call me Milo. Uh, a little over-eager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving. Table two, okay, that's... This must be us. You know, it's funny. I, I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. And we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Get a grip, Lola. You were the rock. Don't make me the rock. Okay, I can't be the rock. I am not fine. How was I fine? This, this is insane. Literally, the worst thing that could possibly happen to us is happening to us right now. Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we there has... There's been a mistake. We don't... We don't even know why or how we died, so... Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So, when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair... All of that garbage gets dumped like a red-headed boyfriend. So, okay, so... Do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a... For eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies. Okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, actually, it's hard to remember, but I want to say, yeah, I think I have. You think you have? Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Closest, remember. Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have, that's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good job, is what I'd be saying if you'd made the shot since that was the test here. I'll just put you down as hands included, but questionable proficiency. Ugh. Lightning oh, round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring! Uh, 
Phone? Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Uh, tired. Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like taking a break? Ho, ho, ho. What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola. What? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow. The sultan of revulsion. The drain on your brain. That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you. With anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team. A real partnership. I want you to know that... Oh, crap. There's two of you? I... I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Marilyn Warnborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. You're hungry, I'm hungry. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down. Barbados, what does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Office hours? Do we... do people get, like, time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for ten hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day. You'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham. Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Ah! What? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I... we just did this like two minutes ago. He knows. Milo, this is it. Okay, but this is... we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even... Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we... we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get drunk. Wait, um... What is... what's our thing gonna be? Our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. We're, um, sorry? We didn't know we were supposed to tell you anything. We just, we just got here. I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like... Ferry us out of here. That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, honestly, just like just anywhere but here for starters. I like the low expectations. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. 
You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Material. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right. And... Ah, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably you. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know, but like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell and provides fairy women like me a job. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles, the, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say? Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information hey, hey, as Sam, you will. Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first a desert. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. So, like, people live here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just kind of part of it. It's like North Dakota, or those secret Chinese time travelers stuck in old Chicago. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I've warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey. Who's drinking? Cuz I'm buying. Just kidding. You can drink for free, cuz we're in hell. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure. 
Just uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest style of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are you? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We looked adorable at the person pound, okay? She was powerless to resist. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's... Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, get him to invite us up. Get him to invite us up, yes. Let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Uh... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How are you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? Well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm kind of surprised I still have all my teeth? Nah, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here- And, <laughs> sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, Cass and Jabber kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Uh... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fuck? What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, a uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. 
But like I was saying, brass bowls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. To Sam, and, uh, her info. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Amethian sounds pretty cool. A great Amethian. All right. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? I was six! Well, yeah, I do work here, buddy, so it's therapy time, or I'm tossing you out on your ass. Now, what's the issue? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steamed because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. I'm happy to see you, man. I don't know you, man. Jesus, what a scary motherfucker. And I thought the shapes my slinky made were off-putting. Yeah, you don't mess with a boy's childhood like that. I mean, do you even like Norman Rockwell? Hey, it was a goof. It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad. Hey, if I have to warn you one more time... I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution, because no one would believe me. I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. I was six years old. I thought the Easter Bunny was real. Boy, this cavalier attitude towards your PTSD must make you pretty fucking bad, right? It's nothing worth getting angry about. I just fooled you for nine straight months, that's all. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, drowning that farmer's kid! He'll never make me regret that. Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be <laughs> dirty. Hey, Van Dyke. Where's uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back.
this, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. But, but he was... He was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Lola's... Uh, overstating things. It was beginner's luck, really. Beginner's luck is only possible if you try, Milo. Lee Harvey Oswald taught me that. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled-in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Oh, so hell's terrible. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Why didn't you say so? This is gonna be like inviting a mini pig to a being adorable contest. You can skip the pageantry, just lead us directly to the ring ceremony. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo. Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans such as yourselves, drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So if you're a ferryman, woman, how do you get assigned that particular job? 
Is it like sixth grade PE where you sign up on a clipboard and hope you don't get square dancing? Wait, you didn't like square dancing in gym class? <laughs> I don't like square dancing in gym class. Hey, my skin sponsors. The guy that thinks everyone cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, it's not like we have any choice in the matter, right? Nope. Having insecurities and being as smart as a dolphin are a package deal. But we'll have fun. Or I hope we will. I I'm still... I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies, or, or like, a uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Correa Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, Sad, or whatever, when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds, against them. Y you didn't like them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! But anyways, demons are born to do what they do. It's called versification, doggerel. It's written in their souls, conscripted since the angels came. All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. Okay, but well, he's, like, evil, though, right? Like, he invented evil? Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented, uh, dissent. Opposition. The idea of, uh, going another way of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your own thing. That's all. You know, I can't help but feel like you're defending him, Sam. Morningstar doesn't need defending, Lola. He's got the best attorneys in the universe down here. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. 
Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. Is this the foundation of uh, a house or something? I, I thought only Satan lived here. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant-ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... There has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... There's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like ten minutes. Uh, all right, let's try it. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not, you know, someone's gonna like <laughs> mutilate us. Oh, heavens no. But I can understand the concern, seeing where we are and all. Have all your belongings with you. Great, let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? More ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh no, quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Hi, we'd like to... Look, lady, just because I'm a demon in hell doesn't automatically mean I'm going to mutilate you. Heaven forbid. Do you cross the street when you see a Gorgon carrying the groceries, too? Oh. What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you... aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Fenio, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different... different name. Okay, we'd like to, uh, go up, please. Up aboard, Slim Jims. Two up, doors closing. Oh, all right. Take, take it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am, and turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. Third floor, everybody out. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, they used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Hey, yeah. Uh... Can we, uh... First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think we look alike, but I'm Spandrel, the third floor carriage. No, 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 we... we don't... And second, I'm not gonna mutilate your dumb asses. What kind of ignorant ass shit is that? Okay, we've... we're getting a little in the weeds here. We'd like to go a level up, please. If this place even has an end. Oh, it does. You're almost there. But, uh, watch the attitude. Sometimes our claws slip if we're not feeling the vibe. Going up, two cold ones. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Cause Satan likes to keep demons employed, that's why. Fourth floor, get the fuck out.
Uh, hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Wanna go up? Great, great, that's, yes, thank you. Your, uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Oh shit, Jerry, I, I mean Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's... what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. You rarely see posts not about you. It's pretty user-focused. I mean, what's the point of social media if it's not a mirror reflecting your every insecurity? Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special... ...invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh, wait. You can't. Um, hey, can we- can we go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Look, screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Okay, cool. Look, here. There's, uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's, there's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Awesome. Let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Is this the, uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? Move to the side if you don't have passes. Okay. You're a demon with needs. I'm a demon- a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? You can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on- Yep, that would be the only thing. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep, we should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Check your ankles, wallet chains, uh, purses. Okay. are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? Well, your feet are sore. You're not the one wearing heels. So, all partied out? 
Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. We didn't even get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have uh, have spares, so... If you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobolin Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so... it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done, so... Ah, uh, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years of all over again. I guess you got some picking to do. Let's try Linda first, right? I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Oh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs or meeting with people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. But do you really think she's gonna give us her invite just for buying her a drink? Uh, maybe. If that's what she said, she could use the company. But, you know, it might not entirely be up to her. What does that mean? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next stop, Little Rontalia. So, speaking of, like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? <laughs> oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. Oh. But Lucifer and Rockstress have a real history. It's true. Something about needing to to scream your ego out into the conjectural void. So, is there anyone, like, actually famous down here? Like, musicians we would know? Of course. I mean, most famous people are down here. It's really difficult to reach a certain social stratosphere without seriously abusing, like, a small town for the community. But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for the damned. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. Okay, Little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town. And, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy-gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord and classical trumpet. It was like a, like an alternating thing. Yeah, I think it was a good decision to retire from performing after that. Hey, come on. I I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Yeah, he definitely seemed to like what he heard, so... It was just so embarrassing. Being up on that stage, getting booed, or, uh make friends. But maybe I'm just being melodramatic. 
Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. I mean, what 12-year-old's even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the point still stands. You two, you there, the Ebony Woman and the Lemon Man. Hail and well met. Hail and well met. Fuck off, I get enough racist cat calling at my therapist's office, thank you. All our sincerest apologies if we've offended you. We aren't up on the modern descriptors. Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle-like contraption resting there at my feet? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. Ex excuse me, Ethiopian? How the fuck did you guys die? A, a burning cross fall on you? I don't understand that reference. Oh no, it's happening again. My sincere apologies, we don't always know the correct vernacular. Yes, we mean you no verbal harm. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient uh, we'd be most appreciative oh, thank you this the tuner you want yes thank you kindly go fetch no well now alphalos is going to be off key forever well you are in hell so oh damnable thieves harpies the lot of you that's like the fifth person who's not only refused to help us, but has actively made our circumstances worse. The dwarf, the Siamese twins, the ashen-faced fellow, the harlot, the floozy... Maybe it's how the... we are... Uh, addressing the poor souls that's uh, potentially dismaying them. Possibly. But uh, probably no, not. No, definitely not. The dirty hurdy gurdy. Well, by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh, no, no, no. After you. <laughs> no, no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is. Is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Nope, oh, that's Linda, <gasps> all right. Oh, don't be scared. We're just the accursed souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in the shithouse of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skelis. Oh, uh, who's, uh... Ono Skelis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Hades. And the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the cute purple mile down to the end. Can't miss her. And be sure to check out our gift shop. Hey, uh, listen. This is gonna sound weird, but with Linda... Can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome, yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. <clears throat> Hi, um, are you... No, I won't take a picture with you or sign your femur. And I'm kind of in the middle of something. Really? Because it looks like you just... Uh, want a drink? I can... Seriously, kids. If you want to chat, the least you can do is get me a margarita. No, the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? 
Oh, no, we're yeah. huge yeah, fans. We're big, big fans. huge yeah. fans. We uh, we committed some pretty heinous crimes against God and man to see her play tonight. Cool. Yeah, us too. I mean, those babies won't eat themselves, so... Have you um, seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. But she hasn't done an autograph since 96. Yeah, the Sharpies down here scream when you use them. Good to know. Free bomb squads, and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Four bomb squads! I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? Jeffrey Bomber is what I want to drink. Wait, what was the last drink we got her? Linda likes Wolin's margaritas. I'll send over one, on the house. Thanks. Hi, I'm uh, back. Yes, I can see this is happening again. Lucky me. Got you a margarita. The menu says it's oddly sweet, just like me. <laughs> Sure. Well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. <laughs> You're a poet. I could, I could tell. I got a sixth, seventh, eighth sense when it comes to that stuff. I think Rolling Stone said my lyrics were the ramblings of a baby with poop in its brain, but I sold out five straight nights at Webster Hall so Lester Bangs can go fuck himself. Are you in town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight? What reunion? Ugh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked them for his house party tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. And other places. Many other places, hopefully. Sorry they were such shitheads. I'm sure you did the right thing, though. I actually prefer Sammy Hagar solo stuff. Wait, Linda, just... If you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. And it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my infernal contractual agreement is to perform shows here, and once tonight, so I can't go. But... And neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Do you think there's a way we could, like, get you out of it for the night? Did Moses get out of building the ark? Wait, wait, let me just, uh, let me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay, if you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. 
you somehow managed to pull this off, I'll, uh, I'll be here. We'll be back before you can say Mercury Worm. Mercury Worm. Come on, that wasn't fair. Wait until we actually, like, leave. So she's downstairs, she said. This place is a basement. Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay, oh no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Yo, 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 I'm Baronar. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Excuse me, sorry. Don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me? What is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Which one of you is... Oh, no? Um, yeah. Don't look so shocked. It's not like anyone else down here is worth talking to. Down here as in this basement, or down here as in, like, hell? Yes. Now, church my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids, little Chattanooga choo-choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have an... There's no meeting scheduled. I, I just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But else, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you are wanting to speak to me about buying Girl Scout cookies? Is it even the right season for that? I'm just riffing off your clothes, really. You're missing, you're missing the sash. Look, oh no, Linda has been going through kind of a, a rough time with uh, Jupiter being in pretendo grade. <laughs> so we're going to take her out, you know, on the town, show her, show her a good time. The last time anyone took out Linda, she was living in a 14-acre mansion in Beverly Hills. She... Now, what is this really about? Come on, my stopwatch is running. You want to take Linda out tonight? Why do you want to take Linda out tonight? Speak quickly now. Uh, we actually want to try to do the out party Satan thing to escape hell. So, you need to take Linda out tonight so you can... Drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. So, what are you looking for? Mime? Clown? Mime clown? It's music. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? 
I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something, maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration now. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. All right. Now we just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring from the stage to become a model train conductor. Yo, 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 I feel like we really fucked that up. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll get another chance someday to really impress her. Wanna get like a hat or something? I already have the song Remains the Same on DVD. Nah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. Sorry to, uh, d but... I have to ask, why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? Oh, a sample of platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... To be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. Uh... And I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Oh no, made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52-person orgy. I'll be sure to uh, check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming subscription back. Yeah, thanks for the nickel. Greetings and salutations, my classic 80s hip-hop enthusiasts. You want to be our manager? We're trying to get Ono to take us on, so... No offense, but we'd rather keep trying with her. Yeah. We're here to offer you another opportunity to ascend to the musical heights I know you're capable of. A gig? Want to play for Ono tonight? It's a one-time thing, but it's real. Holy shit! Hold up, wait, no. What is this for? Are we getting paid? <laughs> no, 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 no. Never, of course not. Absolutely not. No, you are not getting paid. No, no, no. Great. Let's declare my 1099. Saves me a little bit of a, of a headache. Great. Ono just wants to uh, test drive it first, so we'll meet you downstairs when we're ready. Meet you down there. Speaking of headache, do you, uh, Peyton? You have... Want something? One student of Prague, please. Student of Prague coming up. Welcome for the 8th. Oh, no, the 7th. Of August? We, uh, we found people to, uh, to play tonight. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, Black House? Yo, yo, yo! It's Black House in the house! Oh, Lord, not again. 
Thanks for the encore. Yo, yo. Oh, come on. They'll be fine. They had their practice runs, and now they're ready for the big show. Right, guys? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, you don't have to answer that. They're ready. We're ready. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this, it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is gonna watch obscenity peddlers rap like their brains are on strike unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, wanna stand in for me? No way, not us. This, we can't, we, we can't dance. I can barely walk. I trip over my mailbox every morning. Just breathe, son. No one ever danced well while thinking about all the times they ever failed at dancing. But just Shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean's show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two, it'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. And don't deviate. I didn't study La Sonambula in college for nothing. Uh, but what, what if we suck? Would you uh, not let them perform? Depends on how much suckage we're talking about. It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. Wait, 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 wait! Don't start the show without me! I always love live dancing. Are you guys gonna show Bush or is it just tits up? Oh my god, will you fuck off, Wormhorn? We don't need this shit right now. Are you sure you want to do this? Lola's right! I mean, Milo, do you really remember the sixth grade talent show? That didn't turn out so well, did it? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Lil Chad Leckler beat you up so bad you had to take off school. Wait, Milo, you said you got the flu. Honestly, he was throwing up so much, it's not that big of a lie. Well, Lola's gonna dance her fucking face off up here, so who cares what happened to me when I was a kid? Wait, don't listen to it, Milo. It's not... It's simple. Just move like I move. Whatever, guys. Come on. My bones are falling asleep here. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Yo, 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 yo. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. yeah turn up the bass a little. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna come in. That's your shit. Yeah. yeah, turn up. Turn it down, actually. Turn, turn it down the bass a little. It's more fun. Dad, it's more fun. Wait, wait, just, okay. Okay, whatever. There we go. Yeah. Get in the groove. Yeah. You can't fall, but you're like, just not. Give me a little, a little lick here. Here it is. Is that right? It was right. Uh, okay. Turn up the vocals a little bit. Turn, turn up the vocals. This is boring. Come on, make it interesting. Find my place. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I can hear myself. I, okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh. Wait, wait, yo, yo, I got to the first one. It's be good. Bad. It's more fun for me. That's the first verse. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, keep it. There Turn it down is. the vocals yeah. now. You're doing really well, but you're like, just not. Is that right? Is right? Oh, okay. My name is. Oh, the track's over. I did it. Yeah. Oof. I knew I should have stopped playing basketball at the Y. Very nice. I can... I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Yo, yo, yo! Thank you, dog! She wasn't talking about you. Oh, well, Miss Ona, what... what did you think? <laughs> better than I expected. Uh, what? That's it? 
They sucked! Ugh, God. Whatever. Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view... I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great, awesome, thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. It's the only way out we've heard of uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Yeah, no, sorry, oh no, but we can't really be expected to care about Lucifer's personal problems, whatever they may be. Just, every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die, tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets. Responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch. Thanks for, uh, being the, uh, the lead back there. I just, you know, I really should just stay in my lane. You can do this stuff, Milo, all right? The sixth grade was a long time ago. You're cooler than you were, no matter what that librarian told you. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. What do you have? One Black Death. Black Death? Sure. It isn't my favorite fans again. Vicar's blowing up about the reunion. Apparently, they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last-minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell, it probably didn't go so well. You owe us big time, Linda. Like, go to the grocery store and bake us a cake with our faces on it, big time. You didn't. We did. We found you a replacement act. They're rappers, just don't ask. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Come on, walk me to the cap stand. I have to say, I thought this was gonna be like baking cookies. You plan on making these perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking like somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. I'm not sure they'll remember this damned old woman. Well, I mean, they did sound like jerks. Maybe set expectations to work reunion or even divorce counseling. It's just, we were like best friends, you know? And they did kind of screw me over, but... I kind of screwed them, too. By, uh, hogging the attention? Yeah, well, that. And by embezzling album profits. But be that as it may, I just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place. Last time I saw Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey mascot. I told him, his name is Rico, or I'll see you in hell. 
You think he'll remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. Friendships that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Well, we can't remember dying, so I guess I'll take your word for it. Whether you remember isn't the important part. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Oh, Milo wanted to be famous. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are you are. It means... It's, eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for this. Uh, just give the door gal my name. Be in there. Rock and roll. Awesome. awesome. We are awesome. awesome. Yeah, okay. So we should just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just, uh, let's drink you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Let's just, like a band-aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. It's time for your review! What? Assessment or Bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you intentionally chose to be a drink mule for somebody named Linda, of all things. Instead of aiding that poor little demon who needed help apprehending a dangerous homo sapien. Either you thought this sounded more fun, or Lola likes just blindly following Milo around. Which, either way, I mean, getting a vodka soda for someone does sound simpler. Hey, so Linda seemed easier, okay? What's the problem with that? We're not down here to, to, to help demons catch people. What is this, an anime from the 80s? All right, all right, all right. So you needed to find a band to fill Linda's slot. Which saps did you enlist? Oh, wait, I was there, so I already know. It was Black House. <laughs> Why the fuck did you pick these guys? You know the instant Ono sobers up, she's gonna realize you traded three day old coffee for curdled rat mouth. I mean, have you heard their songs? Or is rubbing muskrats on your junk something that interests you? Oh, who the hell cares what band we picked? They were the human equivalent of a step stool. We needed them for a greater purpose. You could you could have said higher purpose for the step stool connection. Oh yeah, I could have. Okay, factoid time. Thought you might want to know what's going on in. So, while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission, instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way, Susan Lucille Charlesworth was born in Baker City, Oregon. Due to a host of psychological impairments, she will eventually burn her brother's house down, killing his family of four, and get away with it, too. Aww. Jesus. One Brian Washington died due to a roller coaster malfunction that ejected him from his seat. This happens roughly four times a year. Think twice before getting that fast pass, kids. 
Wormhorn. And, of course... Ah, uh, wait, sorry. Those are out of order. Wormhorn! <laughs> Lola won that dancing thing on her first try, you giant-ass dork! Who the hell is good at this stupid shit? Get alive! Get us out of here, Wormhorn. We need to get on with our night before we're stuck here forever! So? <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'll talk to you... I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Someone order a ferry? Had to go with Miss Landon. What a long face. Personal demon dragging you down. Listen, just remember, those things are like car sickness. Just keep your eyes on the horizon, and it'll go away on its own. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Anyways, did you get the invitation? We did, actually. Get the fuck out of here. A whole VIP cut the entire line invitation for an already free drink? What does she really want? We had to uh, find a band to play her time slot. What band? Don't even worry about it. It wasn't two deranged rappers, was it? You're psychic. She's psychic. It's all over, Vicker. Oh, cool. Anyways, I imagine you'll be wanting to go to Satan's now, right? Finish the game. I, I mean, whatever. Welkin Way. All right, your request is my, uh, my, my thing that you do when requested of something. Let's go. Every man will have his favorite day, but few will know about him. This will... This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A uh, camel hair better, at least, than Bottomless Fries Friday. VIP invitation to Saints House Party, that's, uh... You guys are doing... You're doing well. You, you're doing good. I don't have any poppers or noisemakers, so hopefully the ride, in my genuine amazement, will suffice. Hey, I mean, we couldn't have done it without your help, Sam. You were the steed to our... to our gallant knights. Yeah, and a uh, word of advice, if you make it back topside, maybe don't talk like that at your first job interviews. Oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir? And, uh, depending on your income level, either having to read train schedules or carrying you out the estate tax? No, it's, it's not, it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like, genuinely forever. We got paired up in preschool because we were the last picked in a buddy system. And while Milo stayed in town to help his mom in her magic shop. Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Yes, absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely switching topics. Satan's party, huh? Very exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium, Mother Don't Look at These Pictures stuff. Put away the Ouija boards and voodoo dolls, kids. Why don't you take a break and join us? I'm not waiting in that line. Well, if we find an extra invite, we'll just, uh... I'm not exactly the partying type, kids. I drink alone. Or with one other person. I guess fair enough. Candle flies. Have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Six circle. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last week. And now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like I don't have enough hope to worry about. Yeah, seems like it's a death style now. Wait, Satan didn't show up for work? Wider ganger, sweat cooker of infidels, this is Milo and Lula. Recently deceased. Yeah, congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mines in the city of Diz. And no, he didn't. 
Even though we had the appointment at 11, so he could sleep in. Anyways, can you help me out? I know it's out of the way. No, I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava starts hurting if you're in it for too long. Wait, Sam, what were your two things, uh, two pieces of advice? Was I gonna give you two? That seems excessive. How about one? I'll give you one. Do you want to hear the first thing I was gonna say, or the second? Ah, uh, sorry. We just ran out of time for both. Isn't this washing bear? Uh, the first? Don't worry so much about the future, you know? It's not gonna be what you expect anyway, and, you know, you're here now. So just focus on that while you still have your shoes on. Um, okay. Text me if you need a ride somewhere.
What do you think Sam meant by that? Uh, don't think about the future. That was kind of weird, right? Like, why not think about the future? It's the future. She's saying that we shouldn't worry about stuff you can't control, like earthquakes or a comet crashing into the Pacific Ocean or whether or not you'll get gray hair or lose your ability to blink or whatever. It's not going to be what we expect. It's the same shit everyone over 47 says to anyone under 27. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Weird that she'd even care enough to, uh, to say anything. Want to skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's please. Alrighty. Have all your belongings with you. Great. Let's go. Invitations, please? Certainly. I think you'll find our names in Will Call. My name is Milo. I'm with Linda Landon, the famous acid jazz instrumentalist and musical transformationalist. Maybe you've... Next. And I'm uh, Lola. We're both with the uh, musical transformationalist. Okay, move along. There's party favors in the back, but don't open his fridge. We did, we did it. it. I guess all that's left is for us to uh, enter the party. Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do, and what we will do. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing, and we're gonna do the thing. Yes, exactly. And we'll be fine. So, after you. Um. Uh. Hello? Anyone here? Is this Satan's house where the... where the... party's at? Does uh, someone wanna get that? Oh, it's my house. Hello. You've reached the home of Jean, Barbara, and Milo. Please leave a message with a name and number, and we'll get back to you when we can. Man alive, Milo! Your old man sounds very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great, I get it. Oh, I'm so glad, thank you. Your memory was a little fuzzy. So I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 19. Oh my god, where's the damn party worm horn? You know, the whole reason that we're here? Just give it a minute, give it a minute, let me do this, it'll take a sec. Lights? No, the other lights. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now, when you hear the beep, we all say our names, and that's it. Oh, fine. Wait, who cares about... Shh, 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 shh. Hey, you've reached Jean. Barbara. And I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. <sighs> Don't do anything else but say your name. <laughs> Marty the Magnificent. When did you go back to that? How old were you? Like six. I wanted to be called Marty for like a... a Marty minute. Owen Duke for a week there. Uh, there was the summer of Charlie. Yeah, so what? And you knew this already, Lola. Sorry, I forgot. I just... Well, we can laugh about it now. This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as flighty as she You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you're but not. But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be, and Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you understand the difference? Fancy. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? Wasn't some TV show version of... Whatever. There's nothing complicated about it, Milo. Your dad's a dick. He's not a... It is that complicated. He just wants me to be happy. And he's trying, okay? He's trying. This is all extremely obvious psychobabble bullshit, Wormhorn. So I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every animal's DNA. 
I think even hamsters get into arguments over who gets the last piece of chicken. Mm, maybe. Or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Because she's a proper lady. And you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. Fuck. Off. <laughs> Lola, where? I don't care if you're scared. We drove all this way because you wanted to see the carnival. But we're here now, and you're gonna hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. We're not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo. Dunk me. Throw the ball. Throw it and dunk me. Christ, lean in. Move closer. Dad, will you just lay off? I'm trying. Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people! <sighs> Son, come on! This isn't how I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. You know what? Screw this. I don't care what you think. I really don't. Ah! And screw you, Wormhorn. My dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. And also, give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Oh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, <laughs> there are limits. Milo? Is that you? Lola, sweetie, your guy's in here. Milo, Jesus! Who are you talking to? I thought maybe I heard somebody else. Oh, just my personal demon sister, Mary Wormhorn. Yeah, I know. I know what those are like. Milo, oh, God, I'm so sorry. I turned around and it was... Uh, I saw a witch doing a keg stand and... Uh, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? <sighs> no, it's... it's fine. I handled yeah, it. Yeah, you, uh, you look... you look good. Where's the booze? This party oh, has awesome. everything! They have a ceiling well, in take here! take it from me, Milo. The best way to combat your personal demons is just to drink until you can't remember your ex-husband's foot hair. Which is why you'll notice my fuzzy navel is only half full. You know what? Right now, that... that sounds like perfect advice. Milo, no. Come on, Linda. You're gonna meet up with Mercury Worm, right? I did meet up with Mercury Worm. I told Jane I fucked her brother, and she said she was glad I lost the baby. What? I thought you wanted to, like, smooth things over, be a... Proactive with your... Spare me the therapy camp verbs. We hate each other and always will. The end. No postscript. Look, you're the closest things to friendly I've seen since I've got here, so I'll give you some advice. Be a coward. Do what's easy. Live a lie. There's no honor in taking the hard road. And if you don't believe me, look around. There's a lot of kamikaze pilots down here. Well, that sucked. I mean, I thought she was gonna, like, I don't know. Hey, dick for brains. I'm trying to mac daddy on my home skilled here, and you accidentally touched me. That gives me legal party rights to pound you into indiscriminate ash. Hey, he was just trying to get by. Well, you should have tried harder. Uh, so sorry, man. Uh, I was just... Hey, so I couldn't remember if you folks wanted Dr. Tibble's Vicoco or Omen Set of Ale. So, I just mixed them both together. Oh, hi, Hightower. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Messrs. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Because that kind of behavior doesn't really structure well with the pack mentality I'm trying to delicately maintain. No, 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 no. You're angel of darkness. I was... Great. I'll be out on the back patio. I got a terrific stock guy I want you to meet. So, that's... That's Satan. Uh, what do I look like? A dictionary? Okay, so uh, first impressions. Tall. He knows our names, which I don't like. Also, he smells like a burning courthouse. I thought it was more like a hospital basement. How are we gonna do this? You know, you hear you gotta outdrink Satan a bunch of times, and it sort of just becomes something you no, think you can do. It's always a great party, Morningstar. I'm having a... Good time. If you're having a good time, Beelzebub, why don't you look like you're having a good time? Uh, I don't know. My f- uh, 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 Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, champ. What is it? You need something? Sorry to interrupt your little, uh, side conversation here, but can we... 
Can we talk to you about... Oh, look, Beelzebub. People who know that at a party you're supposed to have a drink and enjoy yourselves. Wait, wait, you two are dry? Maybe Beelzebub can fetch you a drink. And himself a drink. I'll be honest, sick in America faints. Two more from the colonies. Cultural expats, certainly, but it's okay. We're all immigrants here. Are you having a good time, Philo and Lola? We're, uh, we're having a, an okay time, I would say. Right, Lola? Like, two, two out of four stars? Three if it weren't. That I just need, like, a good share, honestly. You should try the snacks. I wasn't in charge of them, but I hear favorable reviews. Hey, sorry to interrupt these two dorks, but your real friends are here. Chernabog. Uh, did he bring the Pine Barrens Tiswin? Because we're running dry and this thing's only like a third over. I didn't ask. Okay, Milo, Lola, walk with me a little. Or as the sailor told the bishop, now's the time to get extraordinarily drunk. Listen, Mr. Satan. You want to ask my permission to leave. And failing that, you want to challenge me to a drinking contest you've heard about, most probably from Sam. How far off am I? So, is the contest real? Like, it seems weird to base it all on that. Wouldn't you rather see who could lie, or steal, or kill, or program malware the most efficiently? Hail, Hail Satan! Satan. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, keep up the bad work. This whole thing was my idea, yet I can't take full credit. I didn't make the rules. I just created the escape clause for a soul every, you know, thousand years or so. We sing, we drink, we play a few games. It's more fun than doing your laundry, at least. Why is it, why is it so few, if you uh, don't mind me asking? Like, you're the devil. Wouldn't you want as many assholes out there as possible? It's like ants, Milo. You see one? Maybe it just came in on your jacket. You see a dozen, you're spraying. And believe me, you don't want to see God spraying. So how does it work exactly? We just... Great. My brother Asmodeus, this is like the eighth text tonight. Hey, hey, boss, 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 can I... Dog belly, I'm not your boss, remember? Beelzebub runs the day-to-day? -day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just need like an extra day or two time off. My baby wants to do Halloween in Cancun, and I... Oh, fine, fine. Tell her why I swims. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me a second here. I don't want my buddies to ding-dong ditch me. You're losing my... You know I'm gonna make you go home and get it if you forgot. I've got a bottle of chert spit in my pocket, all right. I bless you, my son. Milo, Lola, meet Chernobyl, Dark Minister of the Seventh Circle. Yeah, hi. Morgan, the Black Fiend of the High Seas. Pleasure. Vitala, <laughs> the spirit of disease and intestinal issues. And nice to, you know, whatever. And Chad, from Kingston, Ontario. How's it going? Um, hi. So it's, uh, so it's Chernadog, Nebula, American, and, uh, Dag? Sorry, I know I have a trick to remember names, but I can't remember the trick. It has something to do with, uh, with counting backwards from your birth. game set up wait we're just well this will take two minutes your your darkliness we just want to oh, wait you're the two that are going to make a run at the big guy right do the drinking contest <laughs> what 
My last shit weighs more than both of you put together. And she had just eaten three people, so... Oh, yeah. I read about you on Bicker. Hey, we're stronger than we look, all right? You, you don't know why we're in hell? We're a scratch and sniff to you. You don't know our, our, our layers. Yeah, we, uh, we could have been strangling bus drivers for kicks on the weekend. Children, look now. I am your humble servant, truly. I worshipped your paws while you were still in the womb. But you don't know what soup you're ordering here. Well, how do we prove we can do this? Who the fuck is texting me right... Oh, good gravy, it's Bezel still on me about those unholy reports. Well, what do you wow. expect? The guy can't turn off. Polly was crawling up my butt too tonight, preaching about God knows what. Hmm. Actually, okay. I've developed a notion. Milo, Lola, you can help me out. You can help me out and prove you can handle our little, uh, test of endurance. Interested? Uh, sure, okay. Well, what is it? Track down my brothers and sisters, the original monarchs. Apollon, Asmodeus, Beelzebub, Onoskelos, the fallen angels, like me. And outdrink them first. This way you'll be granting me a small favor. You'll be getting them temporarily off my behind, while also proving you can party with beings who view stars as rushlights. And until you do, I'll be playing gin rummy in the parlor. Wait, wait, I uh, missed a denominator or something. What do you want us to do? The angels that fought God? They're the monarchs of hell now? And my old pals I used to get shit-faced with and until they turned into a bunch of humorless dicks. Find them, I'll drink them, and I'll give you a shot. It's a golden fiddle? Huh. It says on the plaque that John of Patmos could indeed play very well, but Charlie Daniels made up the rest. Huh, interesting. All right. One more time, for anyone whose mother just came in the room and asked them to take out the trash. If you get just two out of four monarch seals of approval on this magical and convenient parchment, then I'll ignore my friends and let you try to, as they say, out-party me. But remember what I said. Do try the snacks before you go. Any other queries before I get annihilated? Please say no. Um, how did we die anyway? Unfortunately, that's not my department. I, uh, don't shepherd collections. But maybe my sister Polly can assist you with your query. I'll be seeing you. There was a lot to unpack there. Those friends of his were total cocks. Seriously, Chad? Like, what the hell was that? Whatever, let's not lose focus. How hard could it be to get two recommendations? I mean, I got five for my college applications, but uh, we have no idea where these monarchs are or how to find them. Oh, you know who would know? No fucking... Sam, let's call her cab and ask her about it. Wow. You guys are d good. Thank you, dearie. Ha 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 We learned everything we know from Marie Laveau and Mother Suspiriorum. <laughs> and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. That was one of the only lines of the Bible I remember from Revelations. Looks like Satan took it as a compliment. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Check your ankles, wallet chains, uh, purses. Okay.
Yeah, Fornius already told me. I don't think I can make it. Give me a break, Sam. That's... You can make it. What the shit else are you doing tonight? Uh, my job. Who gave you that job? Erdog, seriously, I'm self-employed. Says so right on my tax returns. Just... I know why you don't want to. I know you've been through it before, but... Everyone needs to participate. It won't work if it's just half of hell forbid one. I'm I'll 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 think about it. Okay? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, okay, just don't overheat, cause time's running out. Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? We uh we need to start finding some demons called the uh, the monarchs, I guess. The monarchs? We said Satan said there were four of them, that we should find two and out drink them first, because, because, actually, I don't really, I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and, uh... Apollyon? Yeah, Apollyon. Okay. Well... You already know Ono, but she just went on vacation, so that one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the, uh... Sealed knot. It's a demons only pub. So let's, you know, let's just say you really needed to outdrink any one of these unliving incorporeal nightmare monsters. Well, which one would you tackle? <laughs> oh no. I am not your fucking tip line. Don't go blaming me when the sun doesn't rise tomorrow. You make the choice, you live with the tap. But whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. I might as well give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies you're trying to outbooze, the monarchs, they were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly around God's throne all day, tell him how great he is, and, and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am and decided they deserve some sort of uh, profit sharing. So they revolted. Led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh... With, a, uh, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. Did that... Does that read? <laughs> Satan, uh, Satan really screwed up there, didn't he? Only if you think living a free life is screwing up. You're still on your parents' cell phone plan, right? It's cheaper. Thought so. Ooh, Polyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the Monarchs, the Seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Not that that would matter to her. Does, does Apollyon still, is that still her job, the judge of the damned? Dead. Dead? Uh, no, she, she retired, sort of. After her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Estran now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono, uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a, like, like a retrial or something? <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square.
Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the Courts of Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually supreme. All the rulings are final. A judicial system in Hell seems, uh, somewhat out of place. What kind of cases would you even see? We're already in Hell. Well, probably like, probably like, uh, like nuns who stole bread for their dying... Racist no, pets. it's for, like, boys who kill their abusive fathers, or women who kill their mother-in-laws. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So, how, how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. <laughs> Not likely. Mr. Andy, have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn, so... Save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help me? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure. What, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just, uh, just straighten my hair a little? Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Uh, please, it is a kindness I would cherish to my soul. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off, is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal. But I am not so inventively rude. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Your, your madre would be proud, or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Interesting uh, uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. It's not the worst thing you could think of. I don't watch a lot of male-directed porn, okay? I prefer my porn AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries. The seal not. Nah. I think this is the place. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Whoa, whoa, you got this all wrong. We are, like, extremely important people. And we're a good time, so I'm sure no one will... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, foot hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to... G whatever. Okay, I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. 
So, so all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah? Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, so when you told Sam about how I was gonna work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know, you, you didn't seem... Uh, or you did seem a little... like... I, 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 I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need like a thesaurus. Uh, did I sound happy for you? Cause I am. I'm happy as a damn clam you're staying behind to build breakaway furniture for magician wrestlers. Yeah, you really sound clam happy right now. I mean, you're just... It is just weird, cause you're the one that's moving, uh, I'm staying in town. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. I'm just living my life, Milo. Or living my truth, as my aunt would say. Mostly when she wanted to wear her bra as a belt. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your... your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. The sign says that giant door is the... the... 87th propyleum to the nine circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockrow to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockrow. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. The Unchased Crater. It says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it Unchased because God was being rude. The Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like, do they deserve to... No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, Three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft-shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh, 
Well, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit! Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone, quickly! Your dress, it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before, and it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of chill. Children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Kohl's. For this, You'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please? Right. Good catch. Eh, uh, what's the holdup? Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola-bellied rats, do you, my dear? Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Ooh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Yay! Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, yes. Come on. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the... The dress, you... Oh, God. Mm. Why was I bored? Okay. Follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh, yeah. You're, like, way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Ta-da! I'll be honest. I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much. It's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry. Oh, watch it. I'm not kidding. Well, I'm not saying... Just forget it, it's fine. You're, you're, you're light as a feather. A hummingbird feather. Just... Take it easy. Just stop humping my I'm neck. Not humping your neck. Just stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm. Ugh. Okay, just forget it. Telly ho, telly, telly forth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. Meeting Apollyon in there, footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well to do demon. Very put together, of scale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. It's us, Roberto. The humans from earlier, Milo and Lola, we are in disguise. <gasps> Bella Arte. Wonderful craftsmanship, truly. Good luck to you, my dear hair friends. My hair thanks you. 
Shut up and leave that handsome demon alone. Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move, walk straight to the kitchen, and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Good man. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. Let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy shit, the, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there, I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Wow, supermodel convention show up. What can I get you? Uh, the Blue Devil, p mm, please. Oh, you getting sick? <laughs> Why do you ask? Cause you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Uh, demons like me don't get sick, pal. My insurance will cover a small nation of very unhealthy people. Your insurance, huh? That sounds like something two humans disguised as one demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Oh, <laughs> oh, man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Hi, uh, mind, if, mind if we... Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I'm not quite ready to order yet, plebe. Give us... Give me a, a minute. Oh, fuck you, pal. You think I'm the help? <laughs> With that suit, why wouldn't he? Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill tempered, spiteful, it by the source. You buy it the source. So just out of curiosity, what did this bar used to be like then? Oh, crazy. crazy. Uh, go ahead. It was crazy. Sex, drugs, and classical music by trained multi-limb chimerical beings. I mean, we still have the Chamber of Coitus, but what's a Chamber of Coitus without a Sphinx on piano? All right, I'm gonna reload. Anybody want another? Um, one grand exhibitionist for me. Yeah, please. yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, newly counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught the fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Um, Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. The really? Scuttlebutt? Major General Scuttlebutt? Wait, this is a real person? Major, it's a pleasure to meet you. While you were serving on the northern flanks, I was fighting the Imperial Eagle in Heaven's Sixth Sphere. Remind me again, how was the combat in the Fixed Stars? Oh, I love a good war story. Yes, General, please regale us. 
You know, Apollyon, with all due respect, I really don't like to talk about my deeply felt psychological and emotional scars stemming from a war against our creator. I'm sure you understand. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. There was a rumor going around that he'd become a pathetic vagrant, pooping himself and sleeping outside. Well, take it from me, General Scuttlebutt. I'm very glad to know that that's obviously not the case. You're General Major Scuttlebutt? Uh, pleasure. Didn't know. So anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Major Scuttlebutt? I was just about to ask the same question. Oh, where do I work? You know, I, uh, I had to call out sick this morning because of an eye problem. I couldn't see myself working today. <laughs> All right, you got me. That was, oh, that was an okay one. Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Wait, guys, Polly isn't... Our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But, uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. Yeah, that's really interesting, guys, but I gotta go, actually. <laughs> Demon stuff. Oh, okay. Well, come back later if you want a break from whatever it is that's so important. Yeah, we probably won't. It was nice meeting you. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal, malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. Let's just find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. Hello, fellow, uh, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I, can I help you with something? How's your, how's your night been so far? Good. How's, uh, how's your night going? Good. 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 Then we are both good. Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere, cause. Oh, gross, guys. What, what's going on? I can't. I can't see. Why does it smell like my grandmother's basement? Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities could not have handled this much. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Major Scuttlebutt? Oh, certainly. No, I couldn't agree more. Humans are the worst. That's, is that, that's what you were saying? Oh, God. My knees are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Oh, well, haha. Isn't this, isn't this interesting? Oh, reminds me of, uh, an old, you might be a redneck joke. It goes, you're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. A drink. But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon, please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that matter. Yes, we'll, we'll forget all about all the stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more 
to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Y um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's <laughs> Office. Uh, seriously? Yes. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Major Scuttlebutt. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Fair? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. Wow. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. Hey, if you say so. Already? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side, kids. You, uh, you want to get in on this? Sent you to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn, I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. Huh? That's just stupid. I need a drink. Yes, here, here. Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. Rabbit's head, I think. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tinnevillis. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit, this is ours. I mean, the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. My goodness, my friends, hi. How are you on this beautiful evening? Why, another open and shut case. Stop blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, Your Honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client Roberto Spaghetti is innocent of all charges. Uh, Roberto, 
I don't know if you're uh, fully aware of all that hell has to offer. Like, did you know that the, uh, the Bobcats won't win something? Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, right. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, you put that... Sorry, it's an inside joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food and then I... Time's up! Trial's done and none too soon! Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you! Not guilty? By reason of sorcery. Ah, <sighs> grazie. Uh, uh, Mr. Spaghetti this? is to be immediately released into the guardianship of custodial angels. And let's all pray he enjoys nature documentaries, cause God knows that's all they fucking watch up there. Skittlebutt, we did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that... that due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. You're a... a good lawyer, Andy. Probably one of the few in hell. Sorry if that's like you're saying. All of those other ones are hoodlums, but you're so articulate. No, I... I understand. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The High Courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok Fuel Pump Sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot harder for us. I know it sounds selfish, but it, I, I, I don't know. We did the right thing, Milo. Roberto was innocent. He doesn't deserve to be here. I would hope if someone could help us in the same way, they would. I guess the silver lining is we never have to see Polly again. <laughs>